what's up this is your video Sagittarius moon welcome if you don't have your moon sign I would highly suggest going to astro.com and you need your birth time birth location and birth date all very important so you get the specific time that you were born in your natal chart because you are not like anybody else baby you are very 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 unique okay so the moon the moon okay that's her mother but not just like the female okay it's who was giving you nourishment or malnourishing you okay the person whose womb you felt closest to or where you grew up <clears throat> and how you felt about your mother or the relationship you could be having with your mother that kind of energy it's where we go for our emotional um, therapy you know like how we go to heal ourselves that's also the eighth house but it's definitely how we go to internalize and and take the things that we feel and how we then move forward or not move forward okay but with Sagittarius moon baby <laughs> that's not a problem all right Sagittarius moon Sagittarius is all about Jupiter Jupiter is your planet it's the planet made out of gas honey okay that's why y'all always gas up all right you're a fire sign you're mutable all right, so you can do a lot of things driven by passion, adventure, travel, wisdom, philosophy, faith, religion, higher learning. You just want to know more. It's where your ethics, moral, and integrities lie, okay? This is what Sagittarius and Jupiter is all about. It's your gifts, your blessings, your talents. That's what it's about. It's how you are going to be blessed in this lifetime. And with Sagittarius Moon, yes, these people are very, very funny. You know, they're very lighthearted in a sense. They are adventurous at heart and they wanna to get to know different people and they're very cultural and, they're, and they like to really, really, really um, explore the world as much as possible with no kind of limitation because this is a fire sign. So fire doesn't like to be held down, okay? This is why Sagittarius moon are known for ghosting people. All right, y'all know y'all be doing it. Don't look at me, like, you know what y'all be doing. Y'all be ghosting people. Y'all be just be disappearing, texting a whole bunch of funny shit, being flirtatious like you always are. But, oh my God, I'm not flirtatious. I'm just, I'm just naturally witty and wise and gorgeous and, you know, full of life. And that's what people find you flirtatious as. And you, then you ghost on them. Rude. <laughs> rude 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 you know um but these people have some kind of deep wisdom inside of themselves they have this this way of looking at life and not holding on too tight see that's a good thing we can learn from sagittarius moon they know how to detach and they know how to still be passionate but move on you know they know how to be there but then not be there they know how to be with you and not be with you they they're very mutable okay mutable energy is about being whatever it's about okay being in and out so this then manifests into them being in and out of people's dms okay or in and out of <laughs> your phone your text messages you might delete them then you might put them back in you might delete them might put them back in but this can mean that your relationship with your mother you just felt distant from her at some point or you um might have been fostered or adopted depending on your place in the sagittarius and where your moon is you could have definitely um your mother could have been a scholar she could have been very very religious okay this could have been growing up in a very religious household all right um there could have been a lot going on, just people being very jovial and jokey. People were just jokesters, you know? You saw everybody as kind of just throwing jokes around and that's how you guys communicated with each other. You guys who are not emotional. Sagittarius moon is not about being emotional. These are fiery people, okay? They're, they're lit up by life. Sagittarius moon are not necessarily, they're another moon sign that doesn't necessarily get depressed unless they have different depressing placements or placements where they feel pressured, okay? Unless you have Saturn there or, you know, you might have a Capricorn sun or, you know what I'm saying or Capricorn Sun Capricorn rising type thing and then you feel you feel like you have to repress yourself you have to put yourself down but um, Sagittarius moons they just want to be free okay they they love freedom they want to be able to choose to choose to choose to choose and that's one thing with Sagittarius moon that's why they're up front you know that they'll tell you what it is depending on how practiced they are okay how practiced in their honesty they are this is how mature they feel like being because they could be very childish and they could be very you know um talk you up like they can exaggerate shit okay they, they have a tendency to ex over exaggerate things these people can definitely throw a temper tantrum but 
for like long periods of the time. Oh my God. And then they'll just be like, you know, just like that. Like complete change. It's, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you, why are you changing up and switch up like that? There's a lot of switching up happening because there's like this feeling when it comes to Sagittarius, there's this feeling that the more knowledge they collect or not even just, yeah, the more knowledge and wisdom they collect, the more that they can know about the world and the ethics and the morality and the cultures. And you know what I'm saying? They have, they, they, they know there's more to the world than being emotional or holding on to your emotions. So then they tend to burn out. Okay. And they burn themselves out because they don't understand that life is still about emotion is still about putting it all together. And you can't just, um, be on one kind of fuel forever and and i want to explain it like this okay so your rising is your car on the outside all right this is how your car looks on the inside your your sun is you know the uh, the textures the colors the kind of little trinkets that you have up and the moon is what you're listening to you know what you're listening to and how it might smell in there and things like that and when it comes to the sagittarius moon inside their car they're they they like either have on something that's spiritual religious um they might be listening to a podcast about school or something like that about learning about something else depending on you know if they have a scorpio sun or something like that they're listening to documentaries and things like that these people just they're they're they they cannot get enough knowledge there's just this insatiable need and people to sagittarius moon are knowledge they're sources of information and they understand that people are high valuable sources of information but so much so that they're just willing to kind of burn the bridges that they create and sagittarius moon y'all gotta be careful because y'all can have a tendency to burn these bridges you know and this is not good in this kind of world yes to get knowledge is great and to seek up uh, your truth Sagittarius moon, I don't even know why it took me so long to say this. Sagittarius moon are truth seekers to the core. So they don't have time for your bullshit, baby. They just want to be in and out and your feelings, whatever. If they hurt, they hurt. I already told you how it was and you clearly didn't hear me when I said it. But your actions sometimes could show different, especially if you have a Libra sun or Venus in Libra or Venus in Gemini or something. You could definitely come off as this fickle kind of irresponsible personality you know so you definitely want to be careful with that because the way that you felt about your upbringing was that you always never felt comfortable enough in the womb that you were brought up in you all you you were pushed out into the world like before you could even catch a breath you know what i'm saying there there was knowledge required of you you needed to be quick fast big smart studied to this is how you feel like you have to maintain in the world. You know, this is how you recuperate. This is what intimacy is. You know, Sagitt this is why Sagittarius moons, they're, they love sex because sex to them is just, just like as much as they love sports, sex and sports, both of them together. Oh my God, it's basically the same thing, isn't it? Isn't sex a sport? You know what I'm saying? But these people are genuine, genuinely, you know, optimistic, you know, they're funny, they're jovial, they are lighthearted people, they just don't know how to be emotional and ground down, they don't really know how to live in, in their, the truth of the moment. They're always seeking the truth of the future and not the truth of the moment. And that's, I feel like, a good piece of advice for Sagittarius Moon. Seek what the truth is now. Don't worry about what it's going to be five months from now. Just let it be what it is now because this is still the building block. This needed to be a part of the truth that is later going to unfold, you know, because you guys understand evolution. But let evolution come. You don't have to push it. And therefore, you don't have to push people out of your life to then make them evolve, you know what I'm saying? And, and kind of give them this, like, whatever kind of attitude about about other people's feelings and with love it passion and emotion they go hand in hand okay so that's all i gotta say right now about sagittarius moon you guys let me know and i'll see you in the next one